wearrk.com presents the Anime UK podcast with the SSRS. ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りいたします。Hey, it's Anime UK Show, episode 29, and we've got a bumper-filled episode with loads of animes and conventions from the world of anime, manga, gaming, and otaku culture. So if we start off with the one that everyone's talking about, Pokemon the Origin you can find us there every Friday. How did everyone feel? You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Anime UK Show, as well as subscribing to us on iTunes and YouTube. Don't forget to rate, comment, and also sending us your lovely questions. Straight up. Um... Total geek fest, especially if you play the games, guys. If, if anyone out there has played the games, you definitely need to watch this series. It pretty much takes you from the beginning of the game where you meet the actual red character, the green competitor, uh, they get all the starter Pokemons, and it's, it's weird. They put a bit of CGI in there as well, didn't they? It wasn't just mm-hmm. a normal TD animation. Uh, but it all looked really good, actually. Um, Professor Oak didn't look as cute and like grandpa like, like in the original series, but <laughs>、yeah. they had to make it different, right? <laughs> um, and it was really nice to see that they put all the game music actually in the series as well. Um, kind of felt a bit shameful that he was doing, the red managed to jump into the Pokemon scene and start catching about five, six in the first episode. And I was a bit like, oh, I wasn't that fast when I played the game. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Red's like kicking ass here. Uh, what, what did you think, Oren? I actually quite enjoyed it,、um, cause I was expecting it to be a lot more like the,、uh, the TV, the old original TV show. Yeah, yeah. And,、uh, yeah, no, this one, like, at times was a little bit,、uh, dark, I guess. Like,、um, I really like the,、uh, well, I don't, I don't like it. The other bit where,、um, friggin' Ash,、uh, not Ash, I'm calling him Ash already,、uh, what is it? Charmander was fighting against Squirtle. Oh, that's scream. Yeah, why, why would you animate a good ten? Oh, that was horrible. That was scream. <laughs> Not、up. even that, it was quite,、um, violent. And like, when they were fighting, Charman's proper clawing all the Pokemon. Um, it's、yeah. not just hover in the air and pretend to fight. It was like, literal, like, batter these Pokemon. Especially the freaking fight with,、uh, I wasn't expecting them to fight, uh, what's his face, uh, Brock at the end. Yeah, of- straight away. Yeah, I was like, that, that was super quick. That, I think that's good though. They've kept it really fast paced, we're really interested, and we're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? And I'm、yeah. quite interested to see the next episode. Brock, like, seemed like a more serious character than. Oh, he's not a, a yeah, a dickhead, basically, like in the <laughs> <other> series. <laughs> he's not all about He、girls. wasn't like gushing over the female girl that's standing in his, his,、uh, gym, so. Yeah. Oh, that, that's what I loved about him, though, in the original series. <laughs> no, but the thing is, when you look at the games, Brock is a different character. They, the series and the games were completely different. They yeah, kept yeah. the same characters, but they just didn't keep the personality traits, which is good, and that's why this will be slightly different than the other Pokemon series, in its own respect, because I love the original Pokemon series. Uh,、yeah. uh, what about you,、uh, Alex? Oh, I liked it a lot. It was, I actually liked the Brock in this because he actually reminded me of the game more than anything, as you said. But,、um, yeah, the Pokemon noises kind of got me off guard. Because it was pretty grim in some of the fights. I actually felt really sorry for the Pokemon for once, which is why I didn't really expect just seeing them get the absolute crap beaten out of them.、Oh, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of nostalgia. I loved watching it. It's just, I'm really worried that it's just going to be Really depressing when Team Rocket that gets shown up or something weird. Yeah, they were. So they turn up, weren't they? They were in the original games, right? Yeah, but, but it's not just、yeah, James. That's all it is. No, it's going to be like the original Team Rocket, which are just miserable so and so. Oh, they look like burglars, didn't they? They have、yeah. like masks on their head. <laughs> uh, and it was nice that they showed the whole don't steal other people's Pokemon.、Yeah. But to be fair, he didn't know he was stealing someone else's Nidoran. <laughs> What's so dumb? <laughs> <It was> straight <laughs> up. I defeated your Pokemon, that means I get to have it, right? It's, no. <laughs> When does that ever happen? I was <laughs> new though, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. Stupid. <laughs> I just wanted to smack his head at that point. <laughs> he was just 
so quick to do it as well. It wasn't like, oh, like a good five seconds wait. It was like straight up, defeated it, throw a Pokeball now, it's mine. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, he was on the ball, Red. It just made me laugh. <laughs> I'm, I still, I, what is it? I still find it amusing that their names are friggin' Red and Green, and they even say it in Japanese as well, like Red yeah. and Green. And it's like, uh, no. <laughs> well, that was a really nice reference when he was like, I have to pick Charmander because my name's Red, and then yeah. he, Professor Oak goes to the Green. Oh, you're going to pick the Green one? No, I'm not gay like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a clever move because it's like, ah, strategy. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering what nickname he was going to give Charizard, um, sorry, Charmander. Because they actually ask you, don't they, in the game, what they nickname you want to give? And then he went, I'm going to call it something beginning with S. And he went, nah, sounds rubbish. Call it Charmander. <laughs> it's like the original name. Uh, uh, Harriet, what about you? Oh, it, it just brought me back to when I was 14 again, when I first played Pokemon Red. It was, it, especially at the beginning, because they, even though they show it in the, in the anime as well, like, uh, the Nidoran and Gengar fighting, even though it's just like goosebumps, it, and even when, uh, Professor Oak showed you, oh, this is the world you travel around in Pokemon, blah, 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 I was waiting for him, I know it sounds stupid, but you know who's gonna be, are you gonna be a boy? Are you gonna be a girl? You know? <laughs> no, they didn't do that, did they? No, they didn't, but I, I, I really liked it. I, I will admit, I, I'm the same with everyone, that the Pokemon sounds were... The Charmander, oh, God. It, it, I was... Or, and it went on for too long. Yeah, like a good 15... 15 seconds. 15 seconds. It's yeah, like, it, even I was like... I had to take my headphones off. Because <laughs> Fred was just standing there staring in, like, horror as his Pokemon was being walled and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, my God, please stop. <laughs> I know it was I it was like for the first time because you, you know we're so used to it in the original anime they just they don't even hit each other that much they kind of just use their special attacks but in this case they're literally like kung fu fighting and you know like Jackie Chan moves and all that but and uh yeah I I, I forgot what I was going to put Got to say them, but um, <laughs> there are four episodes I know so far, and I think there are only four. Um, but a lot of people that I know have watched them all and loved them, so I, I am going to continue. I I thought I don't know. I thought it was a bit rushed in like the first ten minutes. It's like he's catching all these Pokemon, and then, like I said, you you spend all your time like a good hour or so in the first game, just um, going around catching as many Pokemon as you can. I did laugh when he caught uh, when he caught Rattata. I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, I Memories. remember that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's when like, you literally oh can get gosh. the crappy basic ones. <laughs> this is it. It's like the potential you you can have, but you have so much to learn, young Padawan. You know, it's kind of really funny. <laughs> but I can see but where I they're just... coming from. They want to make it completely different, whereas the original Pokemon series, how much loitering and how much fillers did they have. You know, with Ash getting Pikachu, that lasted, what, five episodes? Um, so I think they're just trying to make it quick and to be honest I know so many Pokemon fans who just love I've not heard one bad word about this series neither have I so even if you're a noob to Pokemon definitely check it out this is a brilliant series um, compared to the other one we reviewed and we didn't really like with stupid <laughs> hair anyway um, go, moving along from stupid hair uh, we have Kyokai no Kanata which uh, translates to Beyond the Boundary and I'll give this one to Alex. Talk about hey. it. Um, this series, uh, you get introduced, it's uh, in a score, and there's a little girl with um, glasses. And the first episode, um, she's standing on the roof, and a boy below um, looks up and thinks, oh, she's going to kill herself, she's going to jump off the roof. And um, he actually gains, he actually gets some courage and thinks, well, instead of ignore her, I'm going to better stop her. Runs to the roof to get to her. What she do? Jumps over his head and stabs him right through the chest. With no warning whatsoever, she just goes, Oh, oh, I just stabbed you, but you're not dying. Why isn't, why aren't you dying? What's going on? And you just get introduced to this most bizarre story of he's got something that stops him from dying. They didn't really explain it very well. I think it was his, um, his half, some sort of weird creature in the series. He's half Yukai. Half Yukai. Yeah. But, um, I haven't, they haven't really explained how, well, he, his mother and father, one was, um, Yo Yukai and the other was human. But when you actually see what they look like, it's kind of disturbing as to how that came about. 
um, because <laughs> they're rather large, slightly scary looking creatures. Um, but yeah, they, they explain in a short story how she's, um, a guardian. She's supposed to stop these creatures from running around and causing chaos. And she thought he was one she's supposed to slay. Turns out he's just an innocent schoolboy that's wondering why she keeps stabbing him every single five minutes or so at school. And yeah, it's actually quite funny. It's um, by the people who did Free, but hey! don't think it's, yeah, but don't think it's anything like Free, obviously. No, it's, there's no junk involved. <laughs> but there is cute girls just being ridiculously weird, and one girl of a lollipop who was making kind of weird jokes every five seconds. But it's a cute series. Um, they haven't really enlightened us about much yet, other than these are these creatures. She's supposed to kill them. She can use her blood to f- manifest a sword. And runs around school and is a complete and utter klutz, which is adorable. Watching her try and get around and tripping over things and she ends up with a bucket on her head and yeah. I, I, I find this series adorable. I just, I can't hate her. Even though she keeps stabbing him. And I feel sorry for him, but she's such a klutz. Yeah, wanna... but that wasn't clumsy, that was just proper like, I'm going to slab, stab you. She doesn't even say anything, she just like stabs him and he's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's so clumsy afterwards when she tries to go after him again. He just traps her in a cupboard. Yeah, because she knows what to expect. Don't <laughs> mess with this crazy bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I'm going to continue watching this series because it is just cute. Makes no sense, but it's cute at least. <laughs> All right. And Harriet, Harriet? Um, yeah, I quite liked it. I, 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 I'm like Alex. I, I, I can't hate her. She's too adorable. <laughs> Um, I, I did like the fight. I've only seen the first episode, but I did like the scene where she was racing after him and she just kept on tripping over me and I'm just thinking, oh look, that's me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> literally I, yeah, uh, oh, I tell you, I've not had the best week with <laughs> that anyway, but, um, yeah, it, I really liked it. Um, I'm actually, I'm kind of disappointed that Alex said that they don't reveal too much yet, but you know, it's only just started, so uh, I will give it a chance and carry on watching it. The animation was really pretty. Um, oh yeah, I have to agree. It was beautiful, especially at yeah. the beginning. The, his, his childhood friend kind of intrigues me because, you know, she knows all about him, but she's also telling him to keep away from her and that, um, her family are keeping an eye on the, on the girl and... Yeah, cause I, she stabs people! I know, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that. I know, but you know what? I never thought of it that way. <laughs> it's weird. I just kind of thought, oh, she has a background, but she did say she is the last of her kind anyway. Um, so I'd be interested, like, if we could find out more about her, uh, not just in regards that she can manipulate blood and just stab people or just stab him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Oren, about you? Oh, yeah, no, I really found the show super sweet. Like, it was super mo oh, from the girl, from the freaking girl whenever I saw her. She's super cute. I can't deal with that. <laughs> but it was very, it was Your very... Your first moe cute. moment, Oren, well done. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I like it sometimes, but at least this isn't like a slice of life, like, anime with just, like, girls doing nothing. It's like, no, she freaking, like... Stabs makes people. A... Yeah, well... It's because she, like, senses that he's, like, half-demon. Well, she thinks that he's complete demon. But, uh, yeah, no, I really, really am want to watch the rest of this show. This animation is too slick. I cannot even begin. <laughs> like, it's, I, oh, it's just too fluid. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and there's so much action and so much stuff going on. I've watched, like, the first two episodes. And uh, I've just fallen in love. I want to know what happens. Yes, I want to know more about that guy, um, the guy on the roof with the scarf. If you guys have seen the second episode, at all? Yeah. <laughs> Does it, he's no. got a bowl cut haircut. Yeah, yeah. He was in the uh, opening credits. Yeah, he's I remember. Black hair. Yeah, he. Because I think like, he turns up in the first episode for like a second. Yeah, and he turns up. He's in the second episode. You get to see a bit more of him. But uh, yeah, no, he's quite funny. Uh, you beat some other characters, you get to see what his mom looks like in the second episode, which is a really great revelation. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's very funny, super cute, uh, and the action is great, and I want to see more fighting, and more, like, powers used, and all that kind of stuff. I love it. Too good. Yeah, I, I seem to be the only one who didn't like it. Uh, I got bored, and she annoyed <laughs> me. And the thing I've noticed is from 
<laughs> everything you've all said, you all seem to like have a soft spot for her, even though she stabs people. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just, she's just, people can relate to her in her stabby ways. So, um, <laughs> let's move on to the next anime. Um, Kyo Sogiga. I said that very slowly. Okay. So, this one, yeah. Oren, y- you talk about this one. That one was really weird. I don't even know. How That's to not fair, because it. it doesn't actually make any sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, okay. Oh, man, what even happened? So, because that one's pretty short from what I remember. But yeah, the storyline... Like under yeah. 10 minutes long, yeah. Yeah, but the storyline was all over the shop. It seemed like... I don't know, it seemed like it was part, like, they explained some stuff at the beginning, and I was assuming that there was, like, a series before it, or... There's a short series before it. Are the episodes just as short and confusing? (laughs) Yeah, I think it's only a few episodes, and they all, if you put them all together, they all equal an hour. That's, they're literally that short. Oh, like a movie, you could say, almost. Okay. It's just short episodes, um, Mm. but it still doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like, um, well, I got a certain, like, uh, I got some of the story down. I had to, like, I usually, when I tend to watch shows, I tend to sit back and relax. And, um, yeah, because you usually understand what's going on a lot of the time. But this one, I was having, I was quite, like, rigid because I was trying to fully understand what was going on. But, um, basically, uh, it's like they're, I don't even know what the goal is. Are, do they fight spirits or something? Are they, like, demons? I thought. Um, or, her guardian, yeah, well, yeah, like you said, spirits, spirits maybe. maybe. <laughs> I couldn't tell if they were in the internet or not because they, they, no, they had avatars. <laughs> no, oh, I, was too I think <laughs> it's a bit like I thought it was like Summer Wars where they had like avatars in a different plane and they were all like demony. No, it's actually a demon kind of reflection world. Oh, they're just all demon people. Okay, yeah, but they're just <laughs> in normal world at one point. Yeah, you can jump between the two. They're both called Kyoto. Okay. Which is extremely confusing. <laughs> yeah, I just think Fox guy's awesome. He is. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think basically, uh, the main character, the girl, um, is her, mostly the first episode was set with her when she was a kid. Yeah. And it was talking about her and her master and the relationship they had, and for some reason, um, the other, like, uh, warriors, the- the other, like, spirit dudes, they don't like her because she's got red eyes. They don't really explain much about that. So I'm guessing... Mm. Oh, was that why? Right. I didn't even get that far. <laughs> I just thought they disliked her because she was an annoying kid. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, she, like, um, yeah, they didn't like her because she had, like, I don't know because they didn't explain what, I don't know if she's got, like, some mixed blood or something because she keeps on going with, I want about her mum. And I think her mum might be a demon, maybe? Or a dad? I don't know. They don't, as I said, they don't really explain that much. But yeah, it's just about her and like, uh, talking to her teacher. And it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna become strong. And then at the end of the episode, she is older now, time skip, and, uh, she's running away from some people who... <laughs> she's really, well, from what I'm seeing, she seems to be really badass, and I think the master picked up on that as a, as a child, she just kept beating people up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's, I guess she's skilled, uh, in fighting, but she's kind of an idiot at the same time. Oh yeah, it was really funny when they were like, oh, you should apologize for beating that guy up. She was like, he should apologize me, to me for being so weak, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the master didn't help, he just said, beat him up properly. Yeah. And then you should take some time off to reflect. And the principal was like, no, she should get suspended because she did something wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I did find, like, little bits of it funny, but it was just... Yeah, it was a bit, like, I liked the uh, animation, I liked the colours, and I liked character designs. It was just that, I guess, maybe if the episode was a bit longer, they could have put a bit more information. Yeah, it was just very all over the shot. So that's why I was very confused at (laughs) times. Uh, anything say, else you'd like to add to that, guys? Oh, no, I, I was just going to say, I was very confused as well. I, I only watched one episode because I just thought, what? You know? <laughs> but, no, I, I, I don't get it. I, I probably would have enjoyed it more if I, if I continued, but nah. Not, uh, the graphics and the, the animation was really good, but the storyline just confused the heck out of me. 
they have missed a huge chunk of storyline. Have they? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Because I remember reading the manga and they have jumped like miles ahead. And I was like, what? What's, what's going on? I don't remember this happening. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I only spotted like two characters from the manga and one of them they were having tea with. And I was like, that's. Oh, what? the chick, yeah? The one with the big blonde curly yeah, hair. Yeah, the big on the hair, table. Big hair, big uh, white dress, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm in the manga and they've only just met that person. And I'm like, wow, they've jumped ahead quite far. But yeah, I think you're supposed to watch the short story ones that came out before. Um, and it should explain some story, but I've been told it's still just as confusing because they're really short and don't say much. Well, you, you've read it. It hasn't, d- did it really enrich your viewing of the show? Nope. <laughs> yeah, still confused, exactly. It's still so that confused. Wouldn't, made, wouldn't have made much of a difference. Not really. Cool. Oh. Um, yeah, if we go to the next one, another one I personally felt was a bit confusing too. Um, this was a lot shorter. The Fireball Charming. I'm <laughs> sure Alex and Oren really liked this. I, I have yeah. to say, no, I, I, I did like it, but I just didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, you got two robots talking to each other, and the design of the robot was very nice, actually. Uh, reminded me a bit of the, the female robot from Xenosaga. And yeah, they're just having a conversation and, uh, the, the big machines kind of teasing the little robot. But I'm sure you guys could explain this a bit more as I, I like I said, it was under two minutes long. I, I didn't get if there was any backstory to this. Guys? I don't think there is. It's, I know it's a sequel. Uh, the original was called, uh, Fireball. And it had the same two characters in it. And I think it's just basically her, being reawakened and being taught um, uh, like the ways of the world and being protected uh, because her father, what we learn, is no longer with her. And the shorts, I think, were just to illustrate certain things like um, the stars or um, various stuff like that. I, I mean, I will admit, I found it confusing at first, but then I watched it all again and... I got bits and pieces, and I, and I really liked it. I, I do want to go back and watch the original, though, so I can kind of get a basis of what did kind of happen that begin with. Uh, but that's what I got, really. Hmm. Alex? No, I find it adorable. It's just a robot learning from an even bigger robot who doesn't actually know anything and is learning from a book, which I found adorable. Yeah. They're just They're just learning off of each other. I, I love the beginning, the first episode, where she, she he gave her the book and says, so what did you get from the last chapter? And he said, the frog becomes a prince and he becomes happy again. And she goes, oh, sorry, wrong book. And they just <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. So I just thought, no, that, I, I like the little jokes in between. There were certain parts as well. Um, little tropes there that kind of like, ah, made you smile. I can't remember them now, but there, there was like points at the end. I was like, oh. And I have to admit, I did find the characters really cute and adorable. I have just found out they both actually have names. Yes, the I, actually... the girl's name is Drossel von Flügel. Um, that is her full name. I can't pronounce the one, but it's get uh get Schnitz. Yeah, get Schnitz. It's it's German, I think. <laughs> I think they're both German. German. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both German names, but I think that's what they were both named. I'm guessing the creator was human. Hmm. Or German. Uh, or ge- <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <The> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that caught me off guard. <laughs> but yeah, those are their f- uh, official names. Um, I don't think there are other names on here. No, not that no I can it's see. just them uh, talking to each other, I think. That's all we've yeah, got to. It is. Sweet. Um, I think that's it. No, yes. yes. Oh, no, we have was one, there one more. more? Yes, we yes. have a kill one. Yes. Oh god, right. Kill the kill. Right. The reason I got this one was cuz I actually disliked it and I watched it twice because everyone goes on about how amazing it is oh, oh, and I still disliked like it. But uh, the one thing I can add is the art was really nice. It looked like it was hand drawn. Um the char- I did like the main character, the 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 black-haired girl. 
Yeah. Really and uncomfortable. that's all I'm going to say, really. I have watched the anime. It's just, it wasn't my cup of tea. So I won't sound in quite okay. enthusiastic about it. So Harriet, you take over. Yep, no problem. Uh, it's about, well, so first of all, you see uh, a school. And it's kind of run by these people who have uniforms that give them superpowers. They're called the Sasuke, one star, two star, three star, etc. Uh, and then you see someone's trying to steal the uniform and then you see what happens when they take it without earning it that they uh, actually get killed um <laughs> oh is that what it was about at the beginning what, yeah oh, that, that guy when the that, big bald guy chases him yeah he yeah, he, he just, stole a uniform he stole oh, he's not supposed to and um it leads on to you meeting ryoko who has come to the town uh because she is trying to find out who killed her dad and how she knows is because she has a weapon which is like one half of a scissor like a giant pair of scissors and she knows that the murderer has the other half because they left that scissor half there um she ends up fighting the the headmaster uh satsuki uh or she tries to but someone um like a lackey a boxing lackey takes over and defeats her defeated she goes back home um one of the teachers kind of springs a, a trap door on her and she ends up discovering that well i say discovering like her hand is her hand is cut and bloodied and leaks onto this kind of freaky talking school uniform that basically says wear me wear me and i will give you enormous power and she's like no i don't want to wear you uh and then she ends up back at the school and um she saves her friend who's about to be killed uh, for a ransom. Deep uh, fried. <laughs> deep fried, yeah. Uh, as, you that, do. as you do. That was very weird. And uh, when she reveals herself, you just see from what she wore before to what she wears now, wow, wow, we were. Very it's risque. Hard. It's very risque. Um, I have to admit, I was a bit like, oh, you know, because I'm just thinking, I don't think we'll be seeing many cosplays of those in the future. <laughs> you never like, know, oh, Harriet. There will be. You never and, know. <laughs> well, that's true. I would, I would, lo- I would really like to see that. I tell you, but um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she ends up fighting. She's got immense power now from the uniform. So it's basically like the the, the Sasuke style uniforms, but but more powerful and it's adaptive so that she can use her her scissor blade. As, as well, so it's more effective and she can defeat people. And it just leads on to think, uh, like the rest of the staff thinking, how are we going to defeat her? And um, how it's going to carry on. I think they've only literally just released the second episode as a simulcast tonight, so I haven't had a chance I've to see just, it. I watched it earlier. Oh, how was it good? Oh, it's ridiculously silly. <laughs> um, it's turning into panty and stocking. And it's- I thought that when I first saw it, funny enough, because it is made by the same people. Um, the second episode, they explain how the uniform works. Okay. Um, and you get to see more of the teacher just being downright oh. weird. Is um, that the guy with the glasses? Yeah, it's quite hilarious. And lots of, a lot less clothing as well. Ooh. She's, she's literally walking around for about <laughs> five seconds, well, a half of the episode wearing uh, a cloth in the school office. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's also another big fight with the um, girl in the preview who's a tennis player. Um, yes. And it's it's quite funny, um, the next episode, but it's just ridiculous. There's a lot more fan service in the next episode that I actually sat there feeling really uncomfortable for half of it, just going... Uh, well, when the girl was getting deep fat fried, did you see, like... Did you look at her? Like, because literally, she was wearing a bra and it was, like, down. under boob showing and shit <laughs> and pants. And I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, I, no, think find, I think there's going to be a lot of fan service in this series. Yeah, it's, mm. it, it was okay for like five seconds, but then the next episode just went into girl fan service and man service as well. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I was just like, oh, they're really going all out, aren't they? Hey. It's so silly, this series. Um, I enjoyed it. Well, the first episode I enjoyed it only because of the music. Because um, that, that end of that fight, listening to like the lyrics just made me smile. And the bit where they blood splat across um, her face by accident on the oh, enemy. Oh, you mean the the head woman? Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's quite awesome, but that's the only bit I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then from then on, I saw the second episode, and I was like, wow, this is this is just panty and stocking with ridiculous fights. Um, but yeah, it wasn't. It's it's not too bad, but it's just going into f- too close to insane territory. 
um, they're, they're, they're trying a little bit too much crazy and it's making no sense. But I will say the school uniform is voiced by one of my favorite characters. So that's the only reason I will continue to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Just I can... Do you know, I completely forgot about the fact that the, the school uniform had a voice. <laughs> yes, his voice. Oh God, he does. Um, He's from a Carmen Rider series, and your voice is oh, one of my favourite no. characters. <laughs> and I just imagine his character just doing this because it's pretty much similar. And I'm like, wow, I'm watching Momo from Carmen Rider Deno be a school uniform. It's quite amusing. Kind of but, a almost lecherous. He sounds like a proper perv when he's like, "Wear me, wear me now." Oh, and he's like, like putting that, his clothes he, off, and it's like, "Oh my god, what the hell is this?" <laughs> No, he's I thought it was hilarious. like a bug in a uniform. I didn't know it was the actual uniform was alive. Oh no! In the next in the next uh, episode, you see it actually just goes into a normal school uniform again. She doesn't walk around with her boobs out all the time, thank goodness. Oh, I was going to say that would be really awkward. So it um, kind of like um, just just changes at the, uh, you know in time for battle. You mean? Um, he goes to sleep, and when he goes to sleep, he turns into a normal um, school uniform, but with his eye. Um, as one of the collars, so like the sailor uniform, his eye is one of the collar bits on it. Okay. Um, and cool. he doesn't he doesn't really talk. Um, and then they explain how you have to wake him up and etc. Um, for the next episode, I won't give too much away because I want okay. other people to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, they do explain more. It's just getting into really weird kinky territory, <laughs> and I'm worried. <laughs> I wonder if Oren yeah. thinks of it. Though. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oren, how did you feel about it? Uh, like, I really like a lot of it. Um, like, animation, character design, just how ridiculous everything was. Uh, I Being already know. Top. Yeah, I really, already got, uh, I already know about that studio and about underage girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I was kind of prepared. Well, I wasn't as prepared <laughs> I guess when she transformed into her outfit because um, a lot of the promo art I've seen for it she wasn't wearing that oh they didn't <laughs> want to give too much away obviously yeah she, well, there's not that much to actually give away well <laughs> you know, you know when she's be. wearing the cape some shit's going down you know there's something <laughs> up but yeah no I love the story I loved um, I love the character designs I love this house stupid everything was i love the animation no oh, i was just ridiculous and i really do like ridiculous shows i have to but admit yeah, yeah it's ridiculous but i really liked it yeah. <laughs> i just love it oh it's gonna be I, i'm really excited to see uh the rest of the uh is it the student council yes yeah so i want to see all of them and just see how ridiculous their powers are because the boxing guy's powers were pretty crazy <laughs> Mm. But obviously she's gonna like she got battered by the boxing guy before she got the school uniform. Oh, totally, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I was like, I was very surprised by that. And uh, but then she came back. Obviously, got her own back. Uh, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Everything's just so great and ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who owns the other half of those scissors. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> we'll soon find out sooner or later. Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, and we're ending the list on a good note, and obviously Oren's love for anime has been rekindled, thank goodness. Um, yeah, so we'll move on to, uh, events. So, uh, me and Alex went to LFCC last week. <laughs> One of the smaller conventions, might I add, uh, London Film and Comic Con, where they specialise in sci-fi, uh, I'd say a little bit of anime. Uh, the cosplay section has grown since I've last been. Um, and mostly it's, uh, what was it? Comics. Comics, mm. book signings, uh, some merch, but mostly it's all about the autographs. You go there, you, you buy a ticket, you, you get something signed, you gush over the person, you get a photo <laughs> if you're allowed. But there were a lot of no posed photos that I noticed this time around, which is a bit Really? Weird. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit mean. Yeah, because usually at LFCC, you know, the guests are like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a quick photo with you. I, I wasn't too fussed as, as Kevin Sorbo cancelled, and, and I love my Hercules, and I was like, no! <laughs> Flash Gordon isn't enough for me! It has to be Kevin Sorbo! 
Though I have yeah. to say, you got an awesome photo with a Xena cosplayer. Oh, she was yeah, lovely. Do you know what? Someone was saying to me, oh, the Xena cosplayer, she's the best, she's got the right features and stuff. And I saw two. And the first one I saw was like, oh, she's pretty cool, but the wig needs to be sorted. Basically, it looked like a party wig, so it looked really fake. And then I bumped into her and I was like, holy cow, this must be the one that everyone's talking about. She's like, spot on, Xena-ish. And yeah, well, obviously, a lot of people had were camping out around a bunch of cosplayers and just taking photos and they were just like standing there posing after posing mm-hmm. after posing after posing um it, it, what was it alex you went specifically for a book signing didn't you yes and she wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> hey, but she still got the signed book yeah. it's yeah, fine yeah um they had a little table selling ones that had already been signed thank goodness for sale for the same price as what the books are normally which is quite odd and did overcharge me the author oh um sarah j mass mars i can never say her last name yeah i i missed her sadly I think Harriet started reading her book as well now. I have. Funnily enough, now, when we were at Gatwick Airport uh, last Monday, uh, I saw the book, the second book, and I said to my boyfriend, oh, this looks really interesting. What so we bought... Um, it was Heart... No, Heart of Glass is the first one, I believe. Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass. Uh, the second book, I cannot remember the life of me now because my boyfriend... Crown was, of Midnight. That's the one. And he, when we got to Spain and he said, ah, oh, this is the second book, and we're like, damn it <laughs> so once we got back we downloaded the first one and we started reading it i quite like it actually it's a really good storyline and mm. it's just one of those those kind of the tiny little regrets you get when you think why didn't i read this before and then i could have gone and met her you know but but there'll be other times no doubt she'll probably come uh, uh, come to an event but yeah i i'm really enjoying the book so far yeah i i read it a while ago and i read it on holiday and i couldn't put it down <laughs> And I have yeah. the second one, I'm like, should I pick it up? I'm never going to be able to put it down again. <laughs> I'll wait until I've got some free time and then I'll pick it up. But yeah, she does, she does nice, I think it's the only book she's released, two books she's released so far in the and UK. A, and a few digital ones on Amazon, I believe. Yeah, they're prequels. They're downloadable ones, though. Yeah, I can't have them. Oh. <laughs> I can't download books. I like a physical copy. I can't. I that. agree with you on that one. I can't stand this whole Kindle phase where everyone's downloading oh, it. Phase is the future. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. I bet you're one of the. Oh, and I need to get the one where where there's no glare and I blah, have, blah, 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 blah. I have an iPad, so that's what I use to read books on. Oh my god, yeah. Apple associate here. Get out. Oh, so, oh, I, no. <laughs> Spend that amount of money on a device, on the future device that you usually see in like sci-fi things. Welcome like, oh, yeah. to tomorrow! Exactly, I'm going to use it to read comics and books, are you crazy? No, that, that, that's <laughs> true, I, I, I have a Kindle and a tablet, I don't have an iPod, though, uh, an iPad though, I have a um, Nexus 7, but yeah, it, it's really good just to catch up with the books and the comics on there now, so I have to agree and though, I do. Tablets do look good for manga and comics. To be no, fair, I, yeah, I have to agree. Uh, I have to agree. That they're brilliant for manga. Um, but to be fair, I still like to read a physical copy of a book. So I, physical I, books are much better physical, but I think comics are a lot easier with um, digital because you actually see the better, pictures better. Because comic, some comics are just tiny, yeah. like manga as well. You're reading it it's like I have to squint. Yeah, you can actually do anything. In. Yeah, which is much easier for me. But, um, but I, I buy too many books. <laughs> so I, buy, I buy too many graphic novels because I, I get them cheaper. But uh, yeah, so I don't have space for books. So it's always nice to just be able to just pull out my tablet, listen to some music, and read at the same time. So it's, it's just more convenient. Then I don't have the extra weight of carrying like oh, I want to read this book or this comic in my bag. Nope, because I just have a tablet. <laughs> sure. Have to agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for space. If you haven't yeah. got any space, then yes, it's good. So, who who in particular did you meet then at LFCC? Because we have seen the photos, but was there any uh, in particular? Power <laughs> Rangers. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, 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 Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash from Pokemon for the first uh, eight seasons, I believe. Uh, yeah. We actually, but as soon as we got in, we saw the Q&A. Um, a lot of people were papping Alex. Because she looks so casual and her dress fit. <laughs> like, you know, literally, like, legs crossed, like, chilling there, and everyone's like, oh, wow. <laughs> um, there were, there were some really good, um, questions, actually, because her daughter was there as well, and a lot of people were, like, asking her about how does it feel 
to have you know your mum is the voice of ash and she was like oh i used to brag about it at school but like no one cared <laughs> that it was like <laughs> as soon as she met like you know people in the anime community they were like oh crap that's amazing so yeah it kind of sucks you need to have people you know who actually know about this kind of stuff otherwise it means nothing though for me like even if i didn't watch the anime i would be like wow as in connected to the pokemon series uh, that's that's quite a big thing and now when you look at the whole franchising and i'm surprised though like um veronica's never actually played the game the daughters played the original no no what was it red what was it red hot or something not the original Red, but the second generation the, the, of the original. Yeah, on the, the GBA version. Yeah, yeah. So she she was like talking about that thing, and it, that, that was nice. And um, she was talking about all the other projects she's doing. And I was surprised she actually did a voice. Um, Veronica did a voice from Ghibli's movie. Uh, what was it? Graveyard of Fireflies. And no one would really know that because I think you just associate some characters with some voice actors, and that's about it. Mm. Um, so that that was quite insightful, and it was really nice. Like, got to talk to her later on. Um, Power Rangers, man, they were really like low key. They were like just chilling out at their booth, and you know, I have to admit, it's been years. You can tell by looking at them. Wow, <laughs> he's still buff, <laughs> but you can tell time has passed. You know, from you when sounded you were so tired. Stuff, to be fair. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, they did look quite, you know, tired as such. <laughs> um, it was really cool seeing them though, because uh, you know, to be able to meet your like the first original Black Ranger, that's freaking amazing. Because considering you, you uh, the other guy next to him was not the original Red, but he was the second Red, and I didn't recognise yeah. him because I'd not seen. I, I probably did watch the first Red movie, but I'll probably upset the fact that Jason wasn't in it. So, to me, I was looking at him going, traitor, traitor, <laughs> real Red Ranger. Um, so, that was quite nice. And that's what I'm saying, because the anime section seemed slightly bigger, but not as massive as it could be. But it, more of the hype was towards uh, Flash Gordon, Brian Blessed, the Stargate people. Game of Thrones people were there, were they, Alex? Um, there was a lot of photos. Oh, was it? Because there was loads of photo meets for Game of Thrones then. The actual throne was there and people getting photos. Yeah, there was just thousands of cosplayers. Just A lot up. of Marvel, actually. A lot of Marvel characters. Uh, we had the one odd Morrigan uh, from Darkstalkers cosplayer. She turned out to be a famous cosplayer, which we were stalking upstairs. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't right interrupt now. That, that would have been annoying, wouldn't it, for her? Going, I'm in the middle of something here. So, um... She yeah, it, it, kind of it fed was, up the photographer though. No, she looked like she was getting like she wanted to get on with things, but the photographer wanted to get the perfect shot. So yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, we found a Deadpool for Alex to pose yes. with. <laughs> oh, his um, he his uh, partner messaged me and said thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, see, that's I, awesome. We saw yeah. a few Deadpools, but I found the really badass one. I was like, Alex, we're, we're getting a photo with him. And we stalked and stalked when we found him. And it was nice because he actually knew who she was as well. It was like, yes! <laughs> Perfect photo. Yeah, she said she wanted to go as deaf. And then she said, oh, but I won't be able to beat yours. And I was like, oh, well, come on! Aww. Aww. It's nice that's when you get, like, two people together. Oh, we saw a really good group as well of um, Attack on Titan people. <sighs> Yes, I, I saw a video, I think, today of, like, the, the, the group. I think I saw that same one. The, the, it was like a music video, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I saw the photos, actually, as well, and I was just like, wow, yes! Because I'm very tempted to cosplay as a, as a, a character from that next year at Kitacon. Uh, Zoe. Cool. Yeah, so it was like, ah, oh, spur me on, spur me on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one Zoe is now. Uh, the one with the glasses. With the oh, that makes now. sense. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's got another game name beginning with H, and I can't remember what it is. Yes, yes, yeah. So is yeah. her second name, I think, but I just know her as that. <laughs> yeah, I think I know it's like something like Hanju, something Hanju? like that. Yes, <laughs> don't um, ask me to memorize original Japanese names. <laughs> no, that's that's fair enough. I know. Um, Iconic Legion were there as well, doing the charity work. Oh, yeah. They... A- actually, they had some really good cosplays. They had um, Doc Ock from Spider-Man, with Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. And everyone was taking pictures. And then this guy came along and went, Ahem! and he put the money box in front of them. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that's... Uh, but that's... then, um, yeah, I went to the table, because I've never heard of Iconic Legion before. And they were explaining that they come to all different uh, conventions and they raise money for a certain charity. That specific day, they did it for a dog trust. 
But um, there was actually a few people trying to talk to them to get them to come to other stuff, which was cool. I think they do do a lot of stuff all around the country because one of my friends is a member. She was the Rapunzel. I don't know if she was there the day you I went. Don't she was no um but uh i see a lot of her photos uh victoria her name is and um uh, like loads of stuff they do a whole lot of good work for charity so i i they're they're, they're really good um I, I, uk alliance is usually there but i don't think they were there this time um and they're good they also do charity work as well so it, it's good that you know that, that they're promoting, you know, they're, they're dressing up as like, they're, they're just... And they're really good cosplays. Yeah. Really high quality. That, yeah. They were really cool, um, what was it, Stormtroopers running around from them as well. Mm. Yeah, he was on the tube with me. <laughs> oh, was he? Oh, yeah. Small yeah. world. It's a small yeah. world. <laughs> say that, it's just the community. I'd met so many people cosplaying on the way there and we all had like conversations and stuff and like one of the photographers was chatting to me on the train. I was like half dressed and I was like, sorry, I would pose but literally I'm, I'm in a t-shirt and, and you know, boots and yeah, it's half done. I, maybe maybe that, when we get to the convention we'll talk. <laughs> that's the best thing. I think it's traveling there. Like usually at Expo when you're in the queue, I just end up chatting to everyone all around <laughs> me and I'm like, I don't care if you think I'm crazy. I'm just going to chat to whoever, you know, I want to. think they don't think yeah. It's quite, it's quite <laughs> acceptable in, in our community, whereas other places, you chat to someone on the train, the other person is giving you like dirty looks. <laughs> yeah, I, I always like the fact, if you, it, it might be me, but when you see someone on the bus or on the tube and they're reading the manga, or they're reading something you like and it's like, <gasps> you know, you that little, something, yeah. yeah, it's like that little spark of excitement, it's like, do I talk to them? Do I not <laughs> kind of thing? <laughs> but yeah, even like on the way up to, to, to I, I think LFCC one time I was on the tube and I just started talking to all these bunch of people. I knew they were going because they like that they wear the shirts I do, like the graphic t-shirts, displaying what they like, and it's really cool just to meet new people that way. Oh, I ended up chatting to two people who actually weren't going to LFCC but actually going to the next door thing, which was <gasps> Veg Fest. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you." He- um, they kind of looked at me and went, oh, "Are you heading to Olympia too?" I said, "Yeah, I'm waiting for the Olympia too." And she went, "Oh, that's awesome." Well, uh, they started talking to me and they they started to clock on that I wasn't going to the same thing. <laughs> they said, "Oh, you're heading to Vegfest," and I went, "No, what? I'm heading with these guys." And they looked at me and went, "Oh, Stormtroopers, the Joker, <laughs> and the Ghostbusters guy." That looks awesome. Where the hell are you going? I said, oh, LFCC. And they went, oh, is it the same place? I said, yeah. And we just chatted all the way on the tube ride oh, to Olympia. I bet they were thinking, I think we should have gone to LFCC. Yeah, they were talking to me about Doctor Who, and I was just like sitting there going, wow, this is actually quite awesome. Um, I've made I, two new I, friends. I was talking to someone about steampunk, and this guy turned around and went, where are you going? Sounds fucking awesome. And I was like, oh, LFCC. I was like, oh, they've still got tickets if you want to buy. I think they're like six pounds. And he was like, Stargate. It's all about Daniel. If he's there, I'm going. And I was like, I don't know if he is. I was like, come anyway. <laughs> Seriously, it's fun. It's fun. Um, this time, I felt there was more people looking and smiling with joy at the cosplays rather than staring in confusion, like, what the hell are you doing? It, it, it was nice. There was a really nice feel to LFCC. It, uh, like I said, it's a small con, but I think the intimate ones are the best. Um, mm. The cosplay masquerade, uh, we didn't do it because we had loads of other stuff to do, but we saw people piling out of the little uh, stage bit. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. want to be stuck in that stampede, thanks. It's Mufasa <laughs> getting trampled all over again. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> but it was it was really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to MCM, but hell no am I going to the masquerade. Oh, the waiting. I, I'm oh, probably, the queue. I'll, I'll just be at the side of the stage as usual. Just uh, I'm going to get... Uh, the one thing I am doing this year, I am getting knee pads. Oh, that's quite a good idea. Because I am fed up with, like, uh, there are, like, especially you're a cosplay, there will be people who will go in front, and like, and I'm like, sod this, I'm going on my knees, but th- because it's concrete, my knees are literally shot. Now, Hyper Japan, that nearly, my knees were gone by the end of it. So I am buying knee pads this time. <laughs> Buy a small roll-up foam, foam mat. Oh, yeah. Someone told me that, I think it was Nert, or one of my, or Foxy, uh, my, uh, the other photographers who are expert, they told me, either the foam or the knee pads and I'm like right I'm going for it because 
you know. <laughs> yeah, because it means you can sit down without hurting your bum for like half an hour. I'm okay with sitting down, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's I have... Dead bum, but dead bum's not nice. <laughs> no, it's usually the cross legs. I usually get pins and needles. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, so used to it now. But, yeah. <laughs> no, the Masquerade, I have heard at Expo. It is, you know, you have to wait a while, but it is the last one of the day. So, the panels, they do try to wrap them up, but... The Masquerade is the most important one, so I don't know why some... It, it, I mean, the last few years now, it's run on time. Um, most of the time. Um, but it can't be helped. I know Granny, who who runs it, he, he works really hard in regards to getting it on time and make sure everyone's okay and everyone's comfortable. And Because I know the, the, the audience is waiting, and then uh, the claw, he's just handing out freebies just to keep the audience going and whatnot. And it's like, do you want to do this? Are you ready for the Masquerade? And all that. So, yeah... I, they have it rough, but, you know, it's still good to be in. Uh, I haven't competed in the Masquerade now at Expo in a very, very long time. I think four years now? Three years now? Since last I've time never actually did seen it. the Masquerade. I've never actually got in. <laughs> Are you coming to this MCM, Alex? No, I'm oh. afraid not. Oh, my, you my, can't my, my hate of large massive. crowds is oh. just too much. Yeah, the That's masquerade like would appeal to you. It would actually scare the crap out of you. Well, the only masquerade I've ever seen was the one you did at Eurogamer this year. That's the first <laughs> time I've ever seen a masquerade. I liked it because it was small and it was to the point. It was like, it you're was convenient. On, you're not there. Next person, next I, person, next person, we're done. I have it to say, brilliant. that was very quick and very well done. Those, yes, the it was well organised. They said we're starting at three. They bloody well started at three. Not, none of this MCM bollocks. We're going to start at three. Oh, it's five o'clock now. You still have to wait ten more minutes. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> and the queuing's ridiculous. How they queue us in the middle of, oh no. MCM, sort it out, man. We like your masquerades, but sort it out. <laughs> They what do I try. In their, in their defence, they do try. <laughs> what actually happens in the masquerade? Not Sorry, hmm? Oren. What was it, Oren? No, I was just saying, what actually happens in the masquerade? Because I haven't actually seen one before. Okay, yeah. so you have two things. You either go there and you pose and you have music in the background, or you go and do a skit. So that will oh. have some background music, or you sing, or you dance, or you do some sort of acting thing with your group. Okay. I didn't realise that's what it was called. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's, it's called different names at each event for some reason. Okay. It's so. usually a cosplay parade, cosparade, masquerade, cosplay competition, but I- I've always known it as masquerade. Okay. To be fair. Cool. I haven't done one of those before. That scares me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't worry. Right? To, to be right. fair... I, uh, yeah, to be fair, it still scares me. I think, uh, I think last time was at Iacon, and even before you go on stage, you're like, boom, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah, and you're trying, and you're trying to smile, and you're trying to be in character, and it's like, you're shaking, and you're so <laughs> nervous as heck, you know. <laughs> so I've hard never to done one, so don't worry, Oran, you can join me in the group of stage fright. <laughs> no, you'd be alright, Alex, cause <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see much through your, um, headpiece, so you could just do whatever, and that'll be it. No. Yeah, that's why I like the Eurogamer one, because you could just walk up, pose in one corner, then the next corner, and then the front. I'd be perfectly fine. But this but, is the same for Expo as well. You have yeah, but there's points. a crowd, Harriet. You <laughs> yeah, Expo is a lot harder is. to just kind of walk around. No, you can't Eurogamer see them. is just like two rows. <laughs> you know what? You, you can't actually see the crowd at Expo. Uh, all you see is just flash of the, the the photo of the cameras. That's really it. Whenever <laughs> I've done it, I can't see anyone. Maybe because I'm not wearing glasses. Lovely, you get blinded. You're safe. Yeah. Oh wow! More chance <laughs> of falling over. Oh look, there's a flashing <laughs> clunk. Oh, crap. Well, no, I don't think I've seen. I think I've seen no one fall yet. No one fall yet. They're all very good. <laughs> yeah, they're the pros. Um. Oh, what was I going to say? I completely forgot. Oh, no. oh, just a shout out as well. That actually, Konami is doing a cosplay competition where they're um, trying to encourage a lot of people to dress up as their characters from any of their games, new and old. Come to their booth. They'll be taking photos and there'll be competitions. Um, they'll give out free stuff as well. So if you like free stuff, go. Um, Where's the set? Um, and, yeah. and Konami at MCM. It's oh. the yeah. And- the prize is going to be... Oh, the best prize. Yes, it's awesome. It's a life-size statue of Alucard. Uh, oh, no, wow. Dracula, sorry. Uh, uh, sitting on the throne. I think it's about six foot high. Holy <laughs> crap. You saw it at Eurogamer. <laughs> I didn't see it at Eurogamer. 
That would look nice in my sitting room. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I if I won that, my parents would kill me. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I think they had one for Metal Gear. They had a life size uh, statue of snake, and that was again six foot. And the girl who won it came from Scandinavia. <laughs> Well, how oh, did she get it? Oh, no. They got it through, though, apparently. They did send it through in the end. But imagine the P&P on that. Yeah, gee. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, I just want to do a quick shout-out to that the guy who, who was Brock. The o- Oliver, oh, was it? Oh, I have to say thank you. That brought back brilliant memories of my childhood with him singing Jenny, Jenny, Joy, Joy. <laughs> Even Alex could go for me. I was singing along with him. <laughs> oh, you were. I was actually started singing halfway through with you. <laughs> Um, and then I completely forgot the lyrics and went, oh, I know the tune, it's fine. And then I was like, oh, I have to take photos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you were good as well, Aisha, so you were really good. That's your first masquerade, isn't it? Yeah, it was, really like I said, well. I don't like big things, so I was really impressed it was small and I was at the beginning, so I didn't have to be sitting there through anticipation, freaking myself out, so it was quick and easy yes. and fun. See, I would do that because it's a lot easier for me. You can next time. I was going to say, do it next year. Yeah, plan. But d- what I would recommend, though, maybe go for a cosplay that isn't so heavy. Because I remember poor Ghostbusters guy had serious backache because um, his name's Joseph. He literally made it all. And he was like, I need to take this off. It's just so <laughs> heavy. And then when he'd won, honourable mention, he was like, oh, my God, I put my clothes back on again. <laughs> and then, then like, just come on. He was like, no, no, I need to get into full costume. We were like, yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I think I saw it again for the people from I can't remember if they're from Halo it was on the Saturday yeah it was on the Saturday I did the masquerade again and the people in front of me it was two of them I believe they're from Halo if I'm wrong I'm really sorry guys but um, they had a full set of armour they had to trudge around in that and then I, uh, when they collected their old because I think they got best group they, they'd taken it all off they just had their body suits underneath and they were like <laughs> hey thanks for the prize if you want photos of us you should have come before <laughs> uh, uh, yeah that was that was really they, they were like, there was a joker who there was a joker who who when you were on, after you were on he just bounced about the stage and next thing you know he was right literally like two centimetres away yeah. from my camera oh he's my mate oh we we just he spent really most cool. of the great just chatting to each other and like um, you know, helping encourage each other. Ivo, his name is. He said he was just gonna go on and just do a pose, and then he said he just got caught up in the music. He just started dancing, and it was all very improv. To, and I was like, "Damn, to, go, you to go." Be fair, that was really good because I got like the best shots from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you have a look, he's in most of everyone's Eurogamer photos. It's just because of his makeup, so he really stands out. And with mm. the if you take if you're a professional photographer, it just looks good in comparison to the background. Yeah, it's amazing balls. <laughs> so in all, LFCC was really good. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Um, but we're looking forward to MCM. Yes, have fun. <laughs> Stop. Alex, stand outside. Try <laughs> make it. <laughs> I want to go to some at some point. Hopefully next year I'll be actually able to go to some cons because I won't have a uh, school anymore and I'll probably be able to change my hours at work. But oh, Sweet. it sounds fun. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it gets really busy though. I will warn you. But they're opening it up this year, so oh, okay. hopefully it won't be as crowded. Expo oh, is sweet. the biggest one though. Yes, I think it was seven, nearly eighty thousand. Oh, I, wow. stopped go- I stopped going when it was at 50,000 and I was like, yeah, that's far too high for me. Oh. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'm not getting squashed. Um, so let's move on to questions. We've got so many. Um, actually, our, f- our friend from Eurogamer Masquerade, Oliver Whitaker, he actually submitted a couple of questions to us. One of them was, uh, would... Would two of you mind being uh, one of my Jenny and Joys for my next skit for Eurogamer? Oh, bless! <laughs> That's so cute! I, 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 I'd happily volunteer to be Ash, but not Jenny or Joy. <laughs> okay, so Harriet just... wants to compete against you, Ollie, so watch out there. Um, if <laughs> if I could get the uniform, I'd totally do um, Officer uh, Jenny because she's badass. That's about Who's it. Be joy? Anyone wants to be Joy? Anyone? I have a feeling. Ball to be Joy. I have you a can be a mech be Joy. Be a mech Joy. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. It'd be really badass. Can I just be Chancy? 
pretend yeah, to walk around with Yeah, it's a chesty! That's a mascot. Yeah, we're going to be alternative Pokemon group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the next question he sent was, my all-time favourite anime has to be Re- Read or Die. Both the TV series and the OVA were amazing. Um, so far, I don't think there are any other anime yet to beat it. Do you agree? I haven't actually seen it, so I, I can't say, unfortunately. Um, I like Read or Die, but I, I probably would put it in my top five but not a number one but I can't remember who I'd put at number one <laughs> um, he's yeah. also added to that um, uh, and do you agree on the fair representation it has on British culture or is it just a stereotype I what was think that Aaron? Or, or read or die um, yeah. I think I saw I did. I see this. I mean, like I watched it years ago. The OVA. Yeah. Mm. I guess so. I barely remember anything. Uh, I didn't actually like uh, watch the series, but I'll have to actually go back and watch it if it's got such a high recommendation. And um, he he mentions for the British thing that there's loads of uh, it, uh, they keep referring to Wendy to give, you know, tea. So tea's like associated with us British. Yeah. I guess that is stereotyping, right? But it's <laughs> it's like a fact as well. <laughs> yeah, we do drink more tea. Let's be fair. Yeah, but we always, are always stereotyp. We we always have that in most shows. Uh, oh god, that show where the girl from Japan goes to England. Yeah, to save that girl and her family, and then she comes to study in Japan. Her house is so over the top British. It makes me sick. It's like <laughs> who would have bed covers like that? Who would have the Union Jack? On their I, I, pillow. I'm sorry, none. <laughs> Who has a rocking chair these days? Anyone? I think, I think even <laughs> K on the the movie. They 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 were in London, but they illustrate it really well. Like in regards to the shoes, oh no, they the have like the subway and everything. That was they brilliant. did, yeah. That was spot on. That wasn't taking the piss though. That was like no, the no, 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 no. But I'm just saying that's a good example. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. And uh, I have one question from Samuel Roffery. Uh, about Pokemon Origin, how comes the original couldn't be like that? Um, I'm going to straight away say, because we discussed, that the both series kind of went from a different angle. Um, the or- Origin's based on the game, and the game is quite different from the anime, so there's different characters. They've kept some of the originals, like Brock and that, all the gym leaders, because they're cool characters, but they've just changed the personality. Uh, the original Pokemon series kind of went for emotional drama, slapstick whereas this new one seems to be wham bam let's get to the action pokemon mm. let's kick some ass <laughs> i think there's two different plots going on there anyone else yeah i have to agree um i think uh, even though it's like what nearly 20 years now since the pokemon series came out if that i don't know um when i watched the first series i i, I did I will admit, I did kind of, oh, does it go with the game? There are certain bits that do and certain don't. Um, I'm kind of glad that it did, though, kind of split off because you'd always be back and, you know, back and forth and back and forth. And so that's why it's good that they've released the new anime now. So it's like they've remained faithful to the games. So the anime that with Ash is still going. It could go off on its own subplot and just carry on, even yeah. though it's... Even though it's been going now for, for years and Ash is never going to grow any older than 10 years old, I swear <laughs> in the new series he looks younger. At least he changed clothes. <laughs> yes, he's changed clothes and he's got a new Why companion. Hey! <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's the female trainer from the new Pokemon game. Who's the What? Dude. That makes yeah. no sense. I know, I know. Uh, I, 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 I'm only just seeing... For Origins, oh god. <laughs> Too many crosswires, guys. Um, okay, next question. We also have another one from Pokemon. Uh, Colin Wan, uh, why is Red so much better than Ash? Again, two different characters. Plus, if you are Ash and you stuck with a problematic uh, Pokemon like Pikachu, who's a bit of a mm. demon, yeah, you're gonna turn into a bit of a whiny brat because you've kind of been dealt the short, you know, end of the straw here. The Whereas short fuse, but um, yeah. <laughs> Red got a really nice Charmander who does everything he says. That's brilliant. You couldn't ask for a better Pokemon. And to be honest, five Pokemons kick ass. 
So yeah. Red doesn't have anything to complain about. He just gets on with it and he grumbles a bit about Green, but not much else. Whereas Ash has to kind of vocalize everything that goes wrong. But again, different personalities. That's it, yeah. really. Anyone else? Uh, Alex, Oren? I like. <laughs> well, I remember liking the original because I guess the original seemed more, uh, I don't want to say it's more childish, it does seem more kid friendly. Like, this series seems like it's going to be. Because the game in itself, like, as you said, like, Team Rocket's going to. They're not going to be goofy at all, are they? They're yeah, going to no, be yeah. like. Yeah, because they're really messed up. <laughs> bunch of criminals. And I'm pretty sure that they kill people. I know that it doesn't actually happen, but it feels like that's what their group would do. It's the hidden and, theories, isn't it, kind of? Yeah, and it gets like, to Lavender Town. Yeah, they oh, blow shit oh, up. They, oh, they're duh. so arsonists, all of them. Yeah. Please don't mention Lavender Town. Oh, oh I love <laughs> scary. I'm looking forward to that bit, actually. No. No. <laughs> I wonder if you'll get a cube, uh, is it Cubone? In Cubone! Oh, I want to hear oh. some backstory on that. Yeah, some really ultra sad backstory. I want to hear something spooky and scary because he's a bit of a grumpy Pokemon as well. Oh man, do you not know his backstory? Oh no, I know it, but I want to. Oh yeah, yeah. More. I want to know okay. about it. I know everything about the skull, you know, of his mother and all that. I want to. I want to see some actual <laughs> story on certain Pokemon. Did you not know? Did you not know, Warren? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. She's, she's getting Warren. emotional, man. Oh, Leave it to okay. it. <laughs> Why? No, it is one of those ones. It's just like you, you, your heart's just breaking in pieces. No, when... she's having a moment. Of, why is he <laughs> no. wearing the skull of his dead mother on his? On his no, head? no, no. It's just <laughs> I already know. It's just uh, it's just funny to me. <laughs> oh it's, no! It's, <laughs> it's just a messed up Pokemon. Why are yeah, you laughing? Who would do that? <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 it's just wearing. people on the net. You know, they've too much free time. <laughs> The creepy uh, pastas and all that. Well, in all Oren's um, emotion, we're, we're actually going to get to her question. She submitted, uh, "Why do the Pokemon make noises and not say their name over and over again?" I don't know. Only two, only one Pokemon can talk, and that seemed to have been Meowth in the original series. But again, Meowth just kind of says his name in passing. He doesn't say it. Meowth, 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 meowth. meowth, meowth, meowth. Mm. Like, um, I feel like it's they're making the sounds of uh, like I guess more realistic sounds that than they did in the game. Do you know when they made those weird they noises? Those grunts, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's what they sound like. But they sound uh, obviously more analog instead of all digitized and everything. So that's what I was guessing. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. But Fair maybe also, yeah. yeah, maybe I was also thinking it's to steer away from being as. Uh, Kid friendly as the original, because I guess because it's like, oh, that's cute. Look, Pikachu saying his name repeatedly, <laughs> and it's really cute. But these ones are just like animals, and just make noises and grunt and stuff like that, and scream for like fifteen seconds <laughs> whilst they're being more. Oh yeah. Oh, that wouldn't have happened in the original series. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it. I, I don't know, because I wouldn't say that they could show more emotions if they stopped saying their names, but as, yeah, it just seems, it seems a bit more realistic, in a way. As realistic as Pokemon can be. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just weird. I, I, I don't, I don't hate it, but I just find it a bit, a bit weird. A little bit. A tiny bit. Too used to the original. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was more cute. Yeah, like you said, more um, kid friendly. And you remember the Pokemon's name, and then you get to go, Mom, I want to buy a Pikachu plushie. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, you don't, you don't work on. Oh, I want that thing that's pink and draws on people's faces. Your mom's gonna be like, uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea what this is. Chicken must no friend. <laughs> yes, exactly, Alex. We know. <laughs> Mom doesn't. Um, yeah. So next question from Sasori. Who is the first Pokemon you always aim to get as early as possible? Not so much power, but just favourites. Charmander. No, but that's the beginning. That's the star. Mm. We're we're saying normal Pokemon. Normal I have Pokemon. To, I have to go Curlia because I love the evolutions, and Gardevoir is one of my favourite Pokemon's. I have to say, this is Psychic Pokemon. Uh, Psychics are my favourite types. Um, Togepi as well. Um, but I for- uh, I don't know. It, I think it's hard. To- I can't remember getting one out in the last few games. Maybe because it was kind of like 
uh, same old format. That's why I'm looking forward to the, the new game that's coming out. It, it's uh, just brand new, you know, kind of thing. But yeah, Curly is my first one that I try to find. I remember having 30 odd absoles. Oh I can't remember God. why I had that many absoles. You wanted an army. You obviously <laughs> loved them. I just wanted an army of absol. I don't really or know you why. got screwed over and you got traded. Many of them. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the two. Hey, you can make it ev- make it ev- make it evolution in the next game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fabulous absol army. <laughs> yes. No, I want that new Charizard. <laughs> oh no, the blue one. It looks epic. I want the blue one. What was the question? Sorry, I was just uh, like, what would sold. be the first Pokemon that you want to get as early as possible? That isn't the start of Pokemon, obviously. Uh, that could be your favourite, not just powerful. Uh, that's a hard question because I haven't played Pokemon because I didn't get a 3DS, so I didn't play the most recent one. Uh, and I stopped playing, I think, during the Diamond and Pearl. It's Same lost. as B then. Yeah. I don't remember most of those Pokemon. I liked Marit a lot. Ah, oh, the sheep! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I didn't really like, cause usually the Pokemon at the very beginning tend to be pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, the rats and the pigeons, yeah. Yeah. There was one electric, oh, what was it called? It was like, oh, I don't even know. It looked kind of a bit like a cat. Oh, oh the cat, the yeah, I know per- what you're talking about. The pur- per something. Perloin. No, no, no. No, no, Perloin. no, but it was like electric based. But, uh, oh, it was though. The purloin is electric, right, Harriet? Oh, Skitty? No, it's like blue. I don't know names. Oh, yeah, Meryl! No, that's what it was. Oh, I know. Was it a squirrel? It's electric as well, isn't it? No, 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 no. It was like, I... Oh, I was trying to find out what it's called. Yes, <laughs> that's Pokemon. Let's go back to the anime. Who is that Pokemon? <laughs> I've actually got the Pokedex here, and unfortunately... She, she's checking it out. Okay, okay well, Alex looks... 647. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll just say straight away, from the anime series, I was a big fan of Jigglypuff, so it was always a matter of me getting it, even though Jigglypuff wasn't very strong, and I didn't like the evolution, so I'd stop Jiggly from ever evolving. I was like, no, you're not turning into Wiggly Tough, that's just lame. You're Jiggly <laughs> through and through. Was it called <laughs> Shinx? No, or uh, maybe. Luxo, or oh, Luxray. Lu- was it Luxo? Lu- We're just clutching at straws now. Yeah. That's the only <laughs> one that's blue and it's electric and it looks like a cat. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that one, yeah? Yeah, we'll uh, go with that. Let's just go with that one. Yes, yes it was, I it's think. 403, 404, <laughs> and 405 is its evolutions on Pokedex. And we're going to the last yes. question. Oh, no, it's like a mouth. Is... I don't know. <laughs> mouth is that... We have one last Pokemon question, which is from David Jackson. Red has appeared in the game before and you can battle him, albeit only once, but. Do you think Ash will ever appear and be able to be battled against? And also, who would make the Ultimate Elite Four? Anime manga game allowed. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's very really technical, David. How many yeah, questions was in that sentence I just said? Oh, God. <laughs> Quick thinking time. Uh, what was the first part? It's <laughs> red. Um, uh, do you think he'll be able to battle Ash? Uh, no. no. I don't no. think he'll be red again, wouldn't it? Well, th- th- that's, I wanted to ask is, was Red ever supposed to be the same as Ash, or are they complete two different characters? They were I two think, different characters, weren't they? I think they? originally they were supposed to be the same, but yes, then... Yes, I thought. But then they became separate, because obviously, um... I am your father. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, imagine that. <laughs> oh, no, that's weird. That'd be a nice twist. Like, that, I, think, that. I think we've just invented a new theory. <laughs> We're copyrighted this. Movie, it's all in the past, and then you find out some old geezer from the series is the so-and-so of the story, and it's like, oh, for God's sake, all this time-travelling <laughs> right. business. Elite Four. Right, I thought of two. Ty from Digimon, because of, uh, Gag- uh you know, uh, Agumon, his final evolution. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, with all his cards. Uh, y- Yami Yugi. Um, two more, two more. Uh... <sighs> Go on, I, you carry on. I can't. I'm trying to think of two perfect war ones, uh, more perfect ones. That would suck. Though it's like I have a different game for every elite four. <laughs> oh, <that's that. laughs> this one we have to play snakes and ladders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the oh. 
Do you know what? I, I, I know this is a bit of a dodgy one, but Alucard from Helsing, because he has his dog who, you know, who can attack at will. So that would be a good interesting one. So that's free. Dog for fight. Me. The dog, yeah, well, uh, Evie versus the vampire dog. <laughs> that, that, that would <laughs> end to shreds. I know. <laughs> Tiny little Evie and a massive dog. He did say <laughs> ultimate, you know. <laughs> No, to be fair, yeah, that would be horrible. That would be the uncut version. Um, one more. I can't think of any more. Um, I'm looking at all my DVD collections. I'm just thinking, what could be good? What could be good? Card uh, Captain Sakura. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Alex went there. Yes. Yeah. We go from the complete, oh, oh, gore to the complete cute. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our four. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be some epic Elite Four. <laughs> And um, we've come to the end of the show. It's been great. Uh, please do come back. Uh, share us to your friends. Like us. Uh, follow us. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. We are okay.com. We are at Anime UK Show. And also, if you're into comics and games, feel free to follow our brother podcast, which is BAMF. Uh, B-A-M-F uh, Comics. So have a look. You might you might like some of their stuff too. But obviously, don't forget about us. Follow us too, and um, we'll see you next week, guys. Um, we'll be uh, yeah talking more about the new stuff. Hopefully, some of us will have a new Pokemon game. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> bye. Bye. That was the most enthusiastic bye we've had so far. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went. Ah! I just went. Oh god, that was fun www.wearearcade.com